In this video, I'll be reviewing the Nairobi eServices portal. Stay tuned. Hi, 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 hi. This is Tiptoe Nutai, freelance and business. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I share tips and expert advice on freelance and business. This is based on more than seven years of experience freelancing online and running a video production company here in Nairobi, Kenya. I hope the information I'm going to share here will be of value to you. If you are here for the first time, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you live and operate your business within Nairobi County, then you might be aware of Nairobi eServices portal after having received an SMS from them. It is accessible on nairobiservices.go.ke. Through this portal, you can make payments for any public service easily and quickly. It aims to serve tech-savvy people time which they could have spent queuing and waiting to be served in the county offices within Nairobi area. In order to start accessing the services via the Nairobi eServices portal, you need to create an account. You can create an account as an individual or a business. The first step is choosing your citizenship, then entering your national ID serial number, then clicking next. As an individual, you'll be required to enter your mother's first name as per the ID. I guess this is aimed at locking out fraudulent users who may attempt using other people's credentials to sign up. Next, enter your KRA pin and click register. On the new screen, create a password and check on the small box to complete your sign up process. From here, you can proceed and choose the service that you're looking for. In-demand services are services that you need in order to successfully carry out your day-to-day -day business activities. This includes paying for parking within the CPD, obtaining permits for social events within the city, business licensing, public health management, payment for county properties and more. These are few among the many services that you can access on Nairobi eServices portal. This, in my opinion, is a good move by the county government to make paying for in-demand services easy. You can get support easily in case you get stuck while signing up on the portal or proceeding to make payments for any listed services. You can write to them a message, send them an email, or give them a call using the contact information provided on the contacts page. Before you contact support, it's always good you check on the Frequently Asked Questions FAQ page for answers. Once you have signed in to the portal, you can choose a parking package. This includes daily, seasonal, off-street, and reserved parking. For the service that you choose, you'll be prompted to enter vehicle number plate and the parking zone. Then enter your M-Pesa number and an M-Pesa payment request shall display on your phone. Enter your M-Pesa PIN and click OK. There is a USSD option where users can make payments by dialing star 647 hash you can view all the services and more by visiting the website on www.nairobiservices.go.ke if you get stuck in the process of signing up or trying to get a particular service on the portal again i recommend that you go to the faq page first it's important to note that Nairobi eServices portal is managed by Kenya Revenue Authority, KRA. I hope this review was helpful to you. 
Have you tried accessing Nairobi services via the e-services portal? How was your experience like? You can share your feedback in the comment section below here. Until next time, bye bye and take care. My name is Jeption Mutai. Looking for professional screencast video production services? Request a free quote on www.techtubestudio.com.